Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? So I'm hoping you guys are having a wonderful day today. Um, and um, you're being productive today. So today I am working on this basket here. Um, and I wanted to show you guys this basket. I also wanted to answer some questions along the way. or give you some ideas and some, some, um, some tips and teach you guys some things along the way. Um, I know my seasoned basket makers um may may know some of these tricks and um things that i'm going to try to teach you today but just in case you don't and some of my newbies um just going to show you guys my technique on how i put together a basket and wrap it to get the best presentation um yeah so let's go right in Okay, so, but before we go right in, if you guys could please hit that like button, it'd be great. It helps a sister out. Um, if you notice, I am behind the camera. I know I like to be in front of the camera, but today I'm behind the camera for teaching purposes. So, let's go right in. Um, so, what we have is, I'm going to go in and tell you guys what I did and what I have. So, what I have is the blue container. I took a flower just the same flower as that. I didn't want to go in with different flowers. Did not want to mix roses and flowers. Um, you can do it, but I think it gives a better presentation if you use the same flower. So we had, so I did that. Um, initially, I wanted to go in with a, a big, pretty bow, but I said no. Um, we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to keep it simple. So that it could be so that this basket in particular can be re replicated if you would like to replicate it. Of course, we don't all have the same items, but these items that's in this basket are you can still obtain these um, items from the local stores. So let's go. So. So what I did was I went in and I put a gray loafer to match with the it's a gray and blue theme. I also went in with Dove. A little tin of uh, the Dove Beauty Cream, and I went in with the blue. The, I'm sorry, the um, blue diamond cut tumbler. Those are really really cute. Bring some, add some pop and some pizzazz to the basket. I went in with this little fish container. He is so cute, and I placed flowers inside of him, and I positioned the flowers like that. Um, I brought the greenery up um, so that the greenery would pop, pop out and add more color to the basket. Not just blue and white and gray, but it'll, you know, bring that green in. Um, then I went in with the roll. I took the hair wrap and I placed it like that, tucked it under, secured it underneath um, the little uh, bow around there and I took a mirror this is a cute mirror and I placed that mirror in there and I positioned the slides at a tilt and I think it looks really nice like that then I went in and I placed the beach sign and we'll get into why I placed that beach sign up there in one second so we're we're tying in spa beach type theme we're tying it all in with the items that I'm placing in here. So I went in with the, the face mask and I went in with Dove. Because I used the Dove um, tin in the front, I wanted to continue with the Dove theme. So I placed Dove body, um, some Dove body products and I also placed a bath bomb in there. And I used one of these totes. Those are really, really cute. And then behind the um, the fold, the, the canvas picture, whatever this thing is, I placed the blue um, or sign. <laughs> um, I placed blue tissue paper. Because the back of the, um, the, the, the photo, the canvas picture, is brown as you can see some of it is still peeking through that's going to hide once i um wrap it um you could see it so i didn't want 
that that brown to take away from anything in the back of the basket. I wanted the eyes just to see the color blue. So that's what we see. So that's one thing that you can, you know, take from this video is you want to make sure your eyes are seeing just those colors. You don't have to do any of these things I'm suggesting. It just enhances the basket. It just um, brings a better presentation. So we have that, right? So I took the beach sign um, and I placed that up there. And the reason why I placed that beach sign up there is because I want to bring height to this basket for one. And for two, I'm shrink wrapping this basket. Um, that was another thing I wanted to address. How do you wrap these baskets? How do you, you know, do you use cellophane? Do you use shrink wrap? Um, it all depends. If you are, if this basket in particular is going to a customer um, within the next couple of days, and um, I've said it before, my baskets are moved several times and jolted and dropped and moved and, you know, shifted. So I don't want this basket, I wanted this basket to go on my client's table just as is. Um, I don't want it to be, you know, everything all, um, you know, shifted, messed up. I want it to go on her table just like this. So we have this, right? Um, and I think it's cute. I secured um, the, the photo down or the sign down with um, fishing line. I'll show you how I did that, guys. All I did was I took some fishing line and tied it to the handle of the tote and then brought it around, tucked it under here on one side, tucked it on the other side, then brought it, Then I'm sorry, then brought both pieces around and um, tied it in the front. So I came down. All the way to the handle. Sorry. Tied it. Did it on this side. Came down. Tied it. A little blurry. Came to the front. Then tied it in the back. I mean in the front. And then tucked it under. And you actually can't see it because I tucked it under. Under there. But that's how I got that to stay. And stay up. It's um, sitting on the tote, sitting on the tote, the picture is sitting on the tote. Okay, so we got that right. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to shrink wrap. When I'm shrink wrapping, um, that picture will serve as a, I don't know how you would say it, but once I go in and I start um, shrink wrapping, shrink wrap is going to fall this way and it's going to protect everything from in here from being smashed a little worried about the flowers at this point because I did not place anything behind the flowers to so it can come this way but I think it's still going to because it resets in the basket somewhat I think it's going to be fine but I'm going to go in and shrink wrap and I'll come back and show you guys how it looks sorry I won't be able to shrink wrap this on video um, I'm being camera shy today, guys. Otherwise, I would definitely show you guys how to shrink wrap this on video. But, um, you guys watch me quite a few times, um, this last past week, shrink wrapping. So you kind of know my techniques. And if you, if you haven't watched me shrink wrap, go back and watch a couple of those videos, um, with me shrink wrapping. But, okay, so guys, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And I wrapped the basket. I went in with shrink wrap and I um, placed the basket, I mean the bag, the shrink wrap bag upside down and placed it um, over the basket. Then I went in and I shrink, um, taped it to the bottom. Um, and when I was taping it to the bottom, I had my apprentice come help me. He lifted the basket up and held it up for me while I taped it down. 
Um, you can do it by yourself though, but today I chose to use my baby boy um to help me out with this basket. Um he didn't mind helping his mommy. So and the um the picture actually did work um as far as um bringing a crystal crystal clear look to shrink wrap. Um so when I went in and started shrink wrapping it, it did fall exactly how I wanted it to fall, exactly how I wanted it to look. And it does look exactly how I want it to look. Um, nice, crystal clear. By placing the basket, the bag, upside down on the basket like that, you don't get any creases at the top. You get to see all your items, and it gives it a crystal clear look, a sharper presentation. As basket makers and even myself, I, I want to, to go the easiest route, which is just taking um cellophane and wrapping it in cellophane or taking a cellophane bag and placing it in there and tying it up at the top. Um, that is the easiest route, but I want to give a great presentation. This, this method does take time. Um, and it does take away from if you're making 200 baskets, it is going to slow you down. But this is the look that you get. Um, you get this. You get a much better high-end um, look. I think. I believe. Um, you guys tell me what you you guys think. So the bags are they are expensive when you're adding it to the cost of the basket. You are going to spend anywhere from, I want to say, in between, depending on where you get your bags from um, and I get my bags from Amazon so you're going to spend anywhere from I would I want to say 75 cent to two dollars for a bag um, the really large bags maybe two dollars maybe two dollars and maybe a dollar and fifty um, each bag so that does increase the price of the basket itself um, but I, I like this look I like this crystal clear pretty pretty look um, and the, your clients, your customers, they're going to like this look also. So, I'm going to turn the basket just so you guys can see how it looks from the side. The flowers um, pulled in just a slight bit, but not too much. It still looks the way I want it to look. And this is the back. And you can see everything. You can see how that blue tissue paper paper does enhance it um, and give you that straight, you know, on blue look. And you're not seeing that brown. It did peek through a little bit on there, over there, but um, to the naked eye, you ain't gonna really pay attention to that. Then I went in with the bow. Really, really cute bow. I tilted it to the side a little bit. I may shift it in the front to the front a little bit more though. I went in with this glittery ribbon. Um, then I went in with the blue and white stripe. Then I went in with the peach ribbon on top of that. Instead of going in with a flower, you can go in with a flower, um, you know, and add to your bow to add, get, you know, to add some value, to add accent, um, to make your bow pop. But I wanted to get this basket a little more color. So that's why I went in with the peach. I'll turn that, sir. And it came out cute. I think it came out cute. So guys, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps a sister out. And I really like how this turned out. But okay, guys, I hope you guys are able to take some of my little tips, teachings, tricks um, that I put in this video. I hope you guys are able to take some of those with you and use those ideas and tricks. 
um, to enhance your baskets, to make them stand out, to add value, and to add a great presentation. But okay, guys, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay blessed, guys. Have a good one, guys.